Hey there and welcome to this video. So in here we're going to talk about continuous integration and continuous delivery. So what is that all about? Well, usually when we are developing software, we are coding something, we are building it, we're maybe testing it and then we release it and deploy it to some provider. And that is all good. But in order for us to have a more structured approach to this and maybe a more automated approach, then we need to have a tool where we are able to uh, run our test automatically and if our test passes then it will automatically deploy it to a deployment provider uh, because right now uh, if you don't have this ci cd then you manually need to run your test and that can be okay for smaller projects then you need to you need to manually run your test in whatever framework they're made in and if your test passes, then you can decide to manually also run a command to deploy your software somewhere. But when you have a software development process where you maybe uh, need to have more automated tests uh, and you need to ensure that these tests are passing before you deploy it, it can be of great value to have this uh, continuous integration and continuous delivery approach. So how can we set this up? Well, we have a REST API that is already built and is made in Node.js and Express. And we have developed a couple of tests that is made in Mocha and Chai. And we have a basic API that has a couple of routes and where you can also authenticate yourself, create a user, log in, and then you can uh, perform the normal CRUD operations on this API. And I can uh, run my API like this, npm run start dev, then we can see that it will start the server. It's gonna start Nodemon, and if we, yeah, we have it right here. If we launch this URL, localhost 4000, then we can see our API is, is created in the slash API, and we have implemented Swagger. So when we go into this URL, we can see we have a running API. We can also just go to the API slash products. That's going to give us uh, the products in the database right now. And we have a cloud database, MongoDB Atlas database running that the API is connected to. Okay. Furthermore, we also, if we close this one here, we just make a new, we can also run tests. We have developed a couple of workflow tests that are uh, performing tests on the register and a login and then create a product and verify that we have one product in the database and also invalid input. So that is going to run uh, the test, this npm command, and we can see that they are, they should be passing here. Yeah, so they're passing. And just as a note, they're running on a test database and another MongoDB Atlas test database so we don't interfere with the production database. All right, so how can I automate this? Well, uh, I'm going to use GitHub Actions and there can be several other CI CD tools available. So it's pretty much about the concepts here uh, that you create this pipeline. But in the next video, I will set up, uh, start doing this uh, GitHub Action that will allow us to have this continuous integration, continuous delivery approach. Right, so uh, stay tuned for the next video and uh, hope you make this work. Bye-bye.